Hey, everybody. Welcome to the penultimate uh, episode of the Kids and Capes Design Stream. We are calling this the lucky one because it's Friday the 13th. Um, and uh, yeah, Austin is not able to be with us tonight, uh, but they'll be back next week for the final episode. Um, as always, we would like to thank our moderators so, 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 so much over on Twitch. Uh, thank JB for um, managing everything on, uh, on the back end. Um, Alex did a great job in his place last time, but we are, of course, glad to have JB back with us. Um, although, ideally, maybe we can get both of you on here at the same time. That'd be best. But. Um, so yeah, uh, be nice to your mods, say hi to them, say thank you to them if you're watching on Twitch. Um, if you are watching on YouTube later, show them some love in the comments. Um, and we are so glad that you are here. Uh, so tonight we are gonna be doing some more design for Kids on Capes. Um, as always with the Twitch chat, if we have any questions, we will bounce them over to you. Um, and uh, you know, we appreciate answers to those questions if we have them there. Uh, but for the most part, we're going to be taking care of the design stuff on the front. Um, I feel like I forgot something. I usually do. I think you got everything. I don't think so. Okay. You did for, it. For, for introductions then, uh, I am Doug Lewandowski. Uh, I use he, him pronouns. And the question of the evening is, uh, since JB went to Comic-Con last week and is going to comic another different Comic-Con again this week, uh, our question is, who should JB just super not cosplay as um, for, for this upcoming Comic-Con? Um, and I am going to go with... Um, I feel like just a really awkward cosplay would be like um, the Hamburger Helper guy. <laughs> um just because like i you know oh, the hand because the face you the mm -hmm. to make the proportions right right the face is is in the middle here it would have to be so big that i feel like you would just have a tough time uh although it would help with social distancing people would stay away from me but <laughs> um i'm gonna go with you should probably not go as the hamburger helper guy uh and i'm gonna kick it over to mo mo you're up <laughs> Sorry, JB's like, what? <laughs> You've done this on JB real good. So. Yeah. Um, um, she goes dark. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and he, he speaks Willis. Good, good, good. Excellent. Um, hey, I'm Mo or Morgan. I'm going to use Aiden or she, her pronouns. Um, oh, gosh. What JB should not go as. Or is this a challenge for him to do it? I think so. Like, like, oh. like, <laughs> I challenge you, JB. I don't think this is like a JB, you won't. You <laughs> won't. <laughs> um, I would say one maybe a Sailor Scout. Hmm, which one though? I can see I can see him as a Jupiter, like maybe. <laughs> Uh, Kristen. <laughs> I was, hi, I'm Kristen. I use she, her pronouns. Um, I was going to go with magical girl. And so I was frantically trying to think of a second answer, Mo. So thanks for kicking it to me next. <laughs> I'm going to say baby Yoda. Mm. Don't JB, JB, don't go as baby Yoda. This is not the way JB. It's not the way. <laughs> All right, Nick. I'll kick it to you. Okay. I'm Nick. I use he, him. I would strongly recommend that JB against JB going as Daenerys Targaryen. I think that would not work out though. <laughs> and so, John, it's up to you, sir. Um, I'm Jonathan Gilmore. Um, my pronouns are he, him. And I think. I would suggest not going as uh, Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> Wait, where's Austin? <laughs> oh, yeah, especially if Austin's going to be at the same convention. Well, what was yours? I'm sorry. I got too busy laughing at Jamie. <laughs> Chuck E. Cheese. Oh. Chuck e. Cheese. Oh. Yeah. Oh. So, the, right? the elusive rat. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. 
<laughs> so pe people watching at home, I don't know that you could see that, but JB just popped on camera, sadly holding baby Yoda. <laughs> no. But so JB, keep this in mind. If you went as baby Yoda, it would be weird for you to be holding a baby Yoda, right? <laughs> or would it be super adorable, Doug? Baby Yoda holding a baby Yoda. It'd be very meta, right? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. What about a large baby Yoda holding a smaller uh, Mandalorian? <gasps> I think there that's all. I think that's all. There it is, JB. <laughs> so, all right. Well, uh, the plan for tonight is that we are going to take a look at the uh, relationship questions. We wrote up uh, drafts of just a whole bunch um, that we'll have to eventually whittle down, and make some tough choices about. Um, but there were some that we had questions about, uh, phrasings that could go one way or the other. Um, and so those are highlighted in yellow uh, in the document um, that you can probably see right now. Uh, <laughs> we're hoping. We're hoping. <laughs> we're hoping, if anybody's on Twitch. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, and then we will Take it from there. The other thing that we're going to take a look at tonight is since we talked about the combat system last time and the strengths, starting to take a look at the tech tree and figuring out um, what upgrade paths might look like for both individuals and for the team. So, all right. Um, so in the in the uh, doc, we have some stuff highlighted already. So we'll just jump in there. If there are any others that we want to talk about, just highlight them as well. But the first one is, um, what superhero, real or fictional, do you both admire? So I thought this was a good question, um, but it doesn't do a lot to build a bond between the players. So I think maybe it needs some more added to it mm -hmm. to like show why it, why it matters to them. Like... What is this one superhero that you're bonded over? Or yeah. Or how did how did you bond over them? Yeah. yeah. Or like which superhero are you both in a fan club for? Oh, I kind of like that one. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's better. I love yeah. that. Yeah. They're in the same chat rooms. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't love the phrasing for that. Like, it's, it's, well, I think maybe more open in, in how did you bond over them? Yeah, because they could they could just come up with the idea of them being a what you call it together, right? Yeah, a fan club. God, why that word just escaped me. <laughs> also, just one question. I know we'll we'll work on this later because editing does yeah, yeah. happen. But why are there 28 questions? <laughs> um, because there are no bad ideas in brainstorming. This we is true. All, we all listed things. <laughs> it's true. And I appreciate y'all. I'm just like, oh, no, we will have to. Yep. All right. Um, uh, Shouldn't it, or no, it should be, is this a marketing area where you can make a 28 sided die? <laughs> well, like, right. 28 sided die. Okay. But how, what, what are we shaped like? So, fun fact you don't have to have a regularly shaped die. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm not, I'm not going to say why because I'm not ready to announce anything about that yet. But you can have an irregularly shaped die uh, with very interesting results. Doug, do you have secrets? Doug has secrets. Look at him go. Doug, where are you going? going? <laughs> I have secrets and the need for a good 3D printer, but. <laughs> um, all right. Uh, okay. Next one that's highlighted is what trait do they despise in themselves that you genuinely appreciate, uh, which is the fourth one from Kids on Bikes. For those of you looking at home, that's what those weird things at the end of the, uh, at the end of them mean. Bikes is BI, uh, space, Teens in Space is SP, and Brooms is BR. Um, 
So what I, traits do they despise in themselves that you genuinely appreciate or what potential do you see in them that they don't? I like the second one yeah. because the first one just has like a negative yeah. connotation yeah. to it. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Agree. Cool. Um, what did they do that makes you admire their heroism? Uh, and that's a rephrasing of the 14th Kids on Bikes one. Mm -hmm. Or they once protected you when you were in danger. What did they do? I also like the second one. Yeah, I like the second one too. Because it feels very mm -hmm. superhero y. Uh -huh. Or it could just be some kids that are just really good to one another. Yeah. yeah. You know why that one's better? Because Spencer wrote that one. Ah, uh, Spencer. <laughs> Speaking of Spencer, did you know about the innies that he is nominated for? I saw. Yeah, three. <laughs> three? Yep. Yeah. It's awesome. That's yeah. so exciting. And I hope he wins them all. Mm hmm Yeah. It was best game, best rules, and... Mm. Every episode one. Was it the best, the the pop, most popular of the year one or something? Or mm -hmm. well, I think that was best game, right? Hold on, I think yeah. Hunter made a tweet about it. Let's see here. Here we go for product of the year. Yep. Uh, best rules and best game. Oh, product of the year. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Product of the year. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. If folks watching, if you have not played Alice is Missing, oh. um, you are doing yourself a tremendous disservice. Play that game. I'm Don't actually I'm facilitating it tomorrow night. I'm very excited. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Oh, awesome. Yeah. Go play it immediately. I mean, immediately following the stream. Not now. <laughs> All right. Um, wow. Are we all the way down to 28? We're all we're jumping down to 28. <laughs> okay. Um, so what brave thing did they do that you admire or what brave thing did the two of you do together? Oh, that second one's so much better. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, what if, to lean more into the feeling part, what if it was, um, Why do both of you feel braver when the other one is around? Or is that too abstract? Mm, I like the idea. I just don't know if that wording is what I... Yeah. Mm, I'm just like, what do they... How do they instill, instill confidence in you? Yeah, that's good. That's a good question. I think we also can look at the rest of the questions. I'm not saying I have to do it on stream, but I, I like in, in relationship building when you have that balance of events you can create and then also what you like or don't like in each other. Mm. And so, yeah. Yeah. But I like, the, I like the confidence one too. That's a good question. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, so do we want that to be one-sided or do we want that to be reciprocal? Well, it's a positive connection usually that that person has with someone, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's usually not like a two-way street. Sure. Yeah, I like how do they instill confidence in you. Okay. Um, okay. All right, and then on to the negatives. Uh, what rule did you break when you let them take the blame? I love the question. I think the phrasing just needs some work. Yeah. Um, does it need to be a rule? Yeah, what action did you... Like what happened, right? Yeah. What? Yeah, I'm trying to think of what. Um, what? What? Uh, what did you do to get them in trouble? No. 
I like, yeah, more like that, but I really like the specificity of like, not just getting them in trouble, but them taking the blame. Yeah. Right, you know, yeah what, 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 what did you, how, um, ah. Uh, yep. Um. again oh it's such a good question um mm-hmm. what did you do that landed the blame on them we're getting there getting there oh maybe. so maybe close it's maybe it's a statement followed by a question maybe that makes it easier yeah. do you okay a statement followed by a question okay Meaning, like, you did something to break the rules once. How did you let this character take the blame? Like or how did of- you how did you allow this, or not, I don't want to say take the blame, because they, that's, like, them, like, taking it upon themselves. Are we trying to say, like, they are the ones that, are like, oh, I'm going to take this upon myself, or are we just going to be, like, oh, oops, wrong place, wrong time, bud. Tag, you're it. Here's the authorities, like. Yeah. Oh, I like they recently took the blame for something you did. Mm-hmm. How did you escape any pun? Okay, I, that's better. Yeah. Yeah, so people watching at home, um, me writing stuff out is just like the way I think. I don't, I'm not good at forming words in my head. I have to write them and then edit them mm. and see them. So, um that's not like a me writing it out and being like, well, we're done then, guys. Good chat. While you were talking, I solved it. Um, so. Yeah, and do we want it to be some, necessarily something that you both did together and you just pushed it on them? Or do we want to... Because I feel like if we don't specify that, it's just going to be assumed that I did something on my own and then they got the blame for it. I like it being open-ended. Like I yeah. like it being either, but I don't know if that makes it more complicated to mm-hmm. phrase, right? Well, you can just say that you or both of you did. There you go. You or both of you. Yeah. Just give it the option there. They recently took the blame for something you or both of you did. How did you escape any punishment? Do we need to put in like parentheses, like as like a, I don't know. Oh yeah, you or both of you. Yeah, parentheses or both of you would be a good idea. I think that's pretty good for now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We'll come back to it. (laughs) I know. We're gonna come back to all of this. (laughs) (laughs) It's good enough for now. Let's just just keep going. All right. Uh, they regularly do something that insults your dignity, perhaps without knowing it. What is it? And the original was, and why do you think they keep doing it? Suggestion is, how does it make you feel? I like, how does it make you feel? Yeah, I like, how, do you see, how does it make you feel? I was trying to get more into the emotion stuff. I actually yeah. tampered with us some other questions up above that Doug sort of accepted the change. Yeah, yeah. Um, my concern there is that, like, I think we need to rephrase it a bit so that it's not just like, well, I feel insulted by it. Right, yeah, it's too simple. Like, you you told me I feel insulted by that, which is cool, fine, I feel Mm -hmm. insulted, but that's how I feel. Mm -hmm. Um, How how does it hurt your feelings? Sure. Why haven't you brought it up to them yet? Oh, I like why haven't you brought it up to them yet. Yeah, Yeah, that's, that's a nice dynamic. That's really good. Instead, of, like how how they make you feel, because obviously gonna make you upset. Why haven't you brought it up to them yet about like why? Yeah, you starts, upset? yeah, you start digging at that point. Yeah. 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 Okay. Um. So the tenth one is an interesting one for people who have the um. Uh, who have the first couple printings of kids on bikes. Um, question number 15, uh, after we published, was pointed out to us that um, 
a bit problematic, right? It's a question that asks about um, what insanity has this person shown signs of? Um, yeah. Mm. Which, uh, you know, um, whoops. Uh, mm -hmm. and, and that, yep. yeah, there that is sure playing along at home is why you hire sensitivity readers. Um, so the, um, so the question that we changed that to in the, uh, I'm pretty sure in more recent reprints um, is uh, what dangerous personality do they, trait do they have that scares you? Yeah, that's way better here. Yeah. yeah. Also uh, just a note, I did highlight something in pink so we can come back to it. Just okay. I, didn't, I didn't want to blend it with the yellow so I just highlighted it in pink. Yeah, no worries. <laughs> um, do you want me to clear the yellow out of the ones that we've already addressed? Sure. Unless there's one that we were like, this isn't quite it, but we're close. I mean, we'll, we'll come back to all the things. I was going to say, are we going to look at sure. all of these? Yeah, good point, good point. We're, wait, we're not. No, I mean, we'll only have one more stream and then we're we're done. Yeah, we're <laughs> oh, done. Oh, that's, that's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah. right. Sure. We're, sure. Hitting, we're hitting print so, next so Friday we'll just, after yeah, we'll just we're done. Right, so, pages and that's it, right? I just assume part <laughs> of the next stream is going to be graphic design. <laughs> oh, yes. you, you assume me? Did you <laughs> not see our test. drawings in, in the jam board? <laughs> we're going well, to have Matthias on and he's going to do all of the graphic design live. Live. <laughs> okay. Live. That's, cool, cool, cool. That's, how quick, that's how quick he is. I'm, yeah. sure, I'm sure that will go well. Yeah. And, and <laughs> Heather will be doing art live at the same time. Yep. Uh, two screens, split screen. Yep. Uh, we'll see. Maybe you're ready. good with that, right? You got the layout. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see who finishes first. They get a $100 bonus. <laughs> Um, uh, yeah, anyway, so question 10, uh, what dangerous personality trait do they have that scares you or what behavior that they exhibit worries you and why? I like the second one. Me too. Yeah, because it's, 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 dangerous personality could be so much, but a behavior that worries you could be just like. Well, in the end, why is the key there? Because it makes why? you. Why? Yeah. You, start yeah. Digging, you have to start digging. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, Can we go back to the one that we just yeah. to keep us in order? So yeah. it was number seven. It was another double one that we missed. Oh, whoops. Yeah. Um, why are you willing to put both of you, of you at risk? Or why did you, why do you think they keep putting you both at risk? Right. Yeah, so that one was either, mm -hmm. do I want this to be about why I'm willing to do something or why I think they're willing to do a bad thing? Um, so I think it's just a question of how much do we want to be having, like part of the joy of this, one of the things I love is when another player tells me something about my character that I didn't know before. Mm -hmm. um, but I also don't know how many we're going to have of that, like in the end. And, you know, is it, right. yeah. What's the balance here? I lean towards the second one. Mm -hmm. Just because I think if the relationship is negative, it's a reflection of that connection, which is yeah. more of the second one. Yeah, 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 that's true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, did we lose number eight? Um, I moved number eight because I realized it's super close to the new number nine previously. Oh, okay. But we'll come back to that. Um, yeah. Why do you yeah. think they keep putting you both at this? Yeah. Yep. Love it. Um, I think the highlighted version of nine is better than the other. I would agree. Yeah. 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 All right. Um, you hurt them years ago. Why can't you apologize? Just every time I see that one, I think of how awesome Jay Treat is at writing questions. <laughs> oh, I love Jay. <laughs> that is that is one that he suggested way back in the day. And God, wait, where is this one? Uh, it's Eleven. 11. 11. Underneath. Oh, it's not highlighted. It's just yeah, not highlighted. Just to, yeah, yeah. Uh, Jay's um, Jay's a good bean. I like. Mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That one was one of his. And when did you realize you loved this character, either romantically or mm. also mm. word for word? He was like, you know, I love that. He was like, hey, so yeah, this question that you have uh, in the first draft of like, 
how far away is your house from them is fine but may i make some suggestions yeah <laughs> you know jay we were hanging we were like it's a random story as like like you do um we were hanging out after living games because we all had a flight together so we're like chilling out just waiting for our flight from living games 2018 and he just looks at me he's like you remind me of one of my cousins <laughs> just like personality wise <laughs> like i was like oh mm-hmm. thank you <laughs> <laughs> And you were like, you look like you could be Doug Lewandowski's brother, and you often get mistaken for him. You know what? It was before I met you, Doug. That was the con where Banana asked me to uh, join the podcast. Okay, okay. Yeah. A very fruitful con. Yeah. <laughs> like, seriously, if that never happened, then um, I would not be here. I'm glad it did. Me too. All right. Uh, Twelve. Three different things here. Why did you betray them the last time they trusted you? Why do you think they betrayed you the last time they trusted you, or you trusted them? You trusted them, yeah. I don't like the third one. Yeah, I don't either. Yeah, I was going to say you can work and you need to it. Yeah. What did they gain the last time they betrayed your Why trust? Like, you I don't, I don't. It's like, it's like yeah, it's the total opposite of trying to. Get, get I, do, I just, I don't. Content. Yeah, I don't, I don't. I don't. There's nothing that's grabbing me for that one. Really, it, I, I really like that one. Oh, you do? Why, why, Doug? I'm curious. Because it, it's the, it, it's like very clear about the motivation. Like it's, it's the thing that I now resent them for. Okay. Right? Like. Fair enough. Yeah. Oh, they got to go to, like, they ratted me out to my parents who told their parents what a great kid they were. And then they got to go to Six Flags and I got grounded. It's some bullshit. Um, you know, like. <laughs> But yeah, if it's oh, okay, or, see, or, I, see, I know where you're going at. Then I don't think that question really helps. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Um. Do you, or actually, Jimmy, do you still hold a grudge from? You know what I'm saying? Do you, do you still hold a grudge from the, the yeah. game the last time they betrayed your trust? Something like that. That's horribly worded, but that's kind of where I'm trying to go. Though. I want to get back to your, you know, your thing where again you're right. going to. Hmm. Or it could be what did they gain last time they betrayed you and do you and do you still hold a grudge or something like that, you know? Mm. Yeah, actually rereading all these, I I what we're trying to get at, I feel like the third one is the best option. Hmm. What did they gain the last time they betrayed your trust? You still rent them, um, yeah. That's and do you still resent them? them? Yes. Okay, I'm here yes. for that. Yes, that's, that's, mm-hmm. what I, that's what I was trying to get to. Thank you. <laughs> well, I think that's pretty much what you said, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah no, you, no, I'm not quite. You, you said it way better. So. <laughs> um, and then this next one is basically a crappier yeah. version. Yeah, well, not crappier, sorry. It's, it's the same. It's redundant. <laughs> yeah. It's redundant. <laughs> Yeah, redundant. It's, it's a less specific version of it. Yeah. yeah. Eat. <laughs> um. All right. Uh, why did you recently steal from them? Maybe add what in addition to why? Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. What did you recently steal from them? Why? And why? And why? And why? What was it and why? Yeah, why and what was it? Something like that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. What was it and why? Right. What was it? Yeah. Just because I feel like if you say what it was, there's a little, a little nugget for the GM to bring mm-hmm. back. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> or they can like hold it against each other. Like, uh-huh. here's a knife. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> In the dagger slot. Yeah. Like, oh, you stole my cheerleading spot. Like, oh. Did I though, or am I just better? Like, <laughs> ouch. Yeah, right. <laughs> Maybe it's one of those relationships. Like they'll work together, but they're still catty. Like I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> um. So does this mean we didn't need to train seven more negatives, or to match up the positives? Uh, no, I think we're going to try to trim it down to twenty. 
Gotcha. Oh, okay. okay. I was like, please no. <laughs> <laughs> 28. 28 of each, Morgan. No, oh, no. why? I okay, figured okay. I'd give somebody. <laughs> <laughs> All right, put those redundant questions back in. We have a we have an yeah. arbitrary number we've got to hit, folks. You know what? You know what <laughs> though? Do. Someone was watching our stream about like when I talked about like the numbering, and they're like, they, they told me later, like, thank you, Morgan, for saying that. <laughs> <laughs> about making it even like for like a solid 10 or an eight or something oh yeah 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 <laughs> i was like you're welcome <laughs> it needed to happen <laughs> all right so we're on the the don't knows uh yes okay and is this supposed to be like one role like the positive negatives and neutrals so what we have yeah, I this works what we have in most of them, I think, I think both bikes and brooms, because in teams and space, you necessarily know everybody. You're all part of the same crew. Um, and you're in the middle of a job, so you know everyone. But um, in bikes, the first 10 are generally like positive tilting, and the last 10 are negative tilting. Um, and then brooms is the same or different. Uh, yeah, rooms is, rooms is the same. Yeah, I'm I'm pulling up books right now. Hold on. Where are my questions? Oh, here we are. Yeah, it looks like everything's at twenty. Yeah. Um, and actually, the brooms and bikes. Uh, character you don't know questions are super similar because these are hard as hell to write yeah because you're like oh i don't have anything to really go off with them right. how to be vague enough for them not to know them like come up with something right yeah um so if we can write some new ones that'd be awesome not right now but, <laughs> <laughs> but isn't this what it is we're writing right now is that isn't that what we're doing for entertainment <laughs> So yeah, the only one we have highlighted here is that fourth one. Why is their family so important in town? Or what essential role does their family play in? I think the why is their family so important is more open. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like the first one. Okay. Well, we did it. We did There's it. The game. Yeah. Yay. In the first half hour, like 45 minutes, too. <laughs> yep. Look at us. Go, team, go. <laughs> um, This might be a. Oh, uh, yeah, so. JB says, there's a question in the Twitch chat if you want yeah. to. Yeah. So, so the question is, um, it's by RJ. Um, not sure if you're entertaining chat questions or suggestions yet. And this is the first of the, the streams I've seen. So I'm not sure if this has been addressed. But are there going to be secret identities? If so, maybe a question like, why don't you trust them to protect your true identity? And RJ, since you haven't seen this uh, yet, uh, we're trying to keep everything kind of neutral. Because we don't know if people are going to be playing as like, they're, as they're already supers or if they're going to like already uh, gain super abilities as you progress. So we're just trying to keep it neutral in general. So like. Or, you know, or that you guys are, or that these are the first, you, you are characters are the first supers in the world, are part of the first supers in the world. So. Yeah. yeah. And um, at the, as you're answering <laughs> these questions, all of this stuff would be before you get your superpower. So your first, at least part of your first session, maybe a couple of sessions, depending on, you know, how quick a play this is um, would be before your powers get activated or given to you or, or, or. so. Um, but I, th I think the question should help establish that specific thing as well. Like, as you're answering the positive negative questions, right, yeah. hopefully it'll build those trust bonds. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or erode them. Also, that's a good question. 
mm -hmm. RJ. It is a revenge. Yes. Yeah, so like if, for example, you already like have your powers or you're not the first that you're kind, you can add it into the narrative of the questions itself, but um, mm -hmm. we're just leaving it open for people to interpret it however they want to. Yeah. Um, I guess maybe a good question for Twitch is, were there any of these that weren't highlighted that you're like, whoa, 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 why isn't that highlighted? We have questions. Yeah. Are there any that we looked at and we're like, that's very well phrased. And you were like, I don't know what they're saying. <laughs> <laughs> or as I like to call them, the first draft of everything I write. <laughs> yeah. Now I'm just reading through all of them to see if there's anything that I'm okay. interested about. Yeah. Oh, the plan that you two have that excites you the most. I think that's so cute. Mm -hmm. Number seven on, really or the six in the positives. Yeah. 90% sure that's another J treat. Oh. <laughs> what about them always makes you happy? Awesome. Why do you compliment them so often? Mm -hmm. That's an interesting one. That is an interesting one. <laughs> okay, do we want to go through these more or do you want to move on to the next thing, uh Doug? Yeah, if anybody in Twitch has any questions, I was just given some space for them to throw questions in. Oh, yeah, time to actually write questions. Yeah. In education, we call that. Sorry wait. about that. That's OK. <laughs> I, I think the wait time has passed. Morgan, are you looking on Twitch? Are you? Yeah, I got an, I got an eye on Twitch. Well, I'm sure, and now, now I'm curious, Doug. In education, you call that what? I'm curious. Wait time. What it's, time? Wait time. It's a very <laughs> fancy term. <laughs> okay. So it is the gotcha. time that you're waiting, you call wait time. Mm -hmm. Not waiting time. No. That takes too long. Yeah. yeah. Just wait time. Wait time. Yeah. All right. All right. Uh, and in my reviews, people tell me I'm good at it. Well done, Doug. Thank you. Thank you. There's so 16 in the negative. Sorry, I'm I'm reading through it now. I'm just like I don't want to get clarification. How do they keep intentionally or unintentionally thwarting what? Okay, so never mind. I reread that wrong. I thought it said at first, how do you keep intentionally or unintentionally thwarting one of their plans? Yep. Oh, but, how do uh, they? Okay. But it's on them, so never mind. Is there is there a way to phrase that better? No, it's just me not having reading comprehension skills. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, I... Do we need intentionally or unintentionally, or could we let the players decide that? Are, how do you keep uh, thwarting one of? Oh God damn! See, I read, I read it wrong again. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> I need glasses. Hold on. I, I feel like if we're gonna take intentionally or unintentionally, thwarting is the wrong word. Because to me, like a thwart suggests that Pro it's proactive. Yeah. Yeah. But, All right. I got, I got my computer glasses on. I can see better. All right. Those are nice glasses. I like those. They're, they're blue blockers. So like, these are my computer glasses. My driving glasses are over there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I've gotten to the age where I need, to, I need multiple glasses for different things. It happens. It happens. I will accept it. Uh, I, we, we can leave intentionally or unintentionally. Or... That makes me feel better. <laughs> yes, that looks better. Okay. Okay, okay. That's that's good. All righty. What? Hmm. Sorry, I'm I'm still I'm reading fifteen and I'm just like 
It's Hillary Rage 15. There's like a second one, a 15 negative. It's like a redundant secondary. Like, what plan do they have that? What plan mm-hmm. do they have that you need to keep from keep them from putting into motion? What is it and why? I think what is already the what plan. Uh-huh. So it just needs to be like, why it needs to be the second question if we're going to have a second question. But this is more editing stuff that we can. I, <laughs> or, or, or you could change like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The statement, then the question is a good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Actually, while we're here, um, negative tilt one is one that I added, and I don't know if that's too weird or specific. Uh, and positive tilt one is the reverse. Yeah, like, what What does everyone hate about their house? Like, I think yeah. I see what you were trying to do. I like. Yeah, I mean, I think the love about their house makes a lot of sense. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't... The, oh, go ahead, Morgan. No, I was going to say, because it's a positive that reflects that, but and, and wording? I don't... Well, I think, too, it's I don't know. Are we, are we making fun of someone's house? <laughs> Why that bothers me, it shouldn't. <laughs> what does everyone in town... Yeah, I think we How do you know way. it's their specific house? No, that doesn't Anything sound like so. a negative. I like the positive one a yeah. lot. I do too. I just don't know how the negative... Because mm-hmm. the positive could be they have cool parents, they have the best snacks, they have a, tan- you know, a. Yeah. Oh my gosh. And then a negative. Trampoline. I can't think of the word. Yeah. Sorry, go ahead, Morgan. <laughs> and then the negative could be like. Right. I, like John. I think John's already pitched, it. Just pitched the thing. Okay. okay. Did you? Oh, sorry, John. I missed it's that. already gone. <laughs> Morgan and I are still arguing <laughs> <laughs> together against it, and we've already made a decision. Okay, we can move on. <laughs> Okay. Um, anything else that we need? So do we need to make all this, like, each of these 20 now? No, 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 no. No. Um, this whole list needs to be 20 total. Yeah. Oh, I love that. Oh, hold on. Where is it right now? 8, 18, 19, 22. 20, 22. Okay. That's not bad. Yeah. Okay. But now I'm thinking it has to be balanced. You have to have the same number of positive, negative, and neutral. Yeah, we, I mean, basically, we just need to take out two negatives. Okay. Oh, hey, yeah. Nice. Uh, All right. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um. All right. Are we ready to move on to tech trees? I think so. Hold on. One more thing. (laughs) Yeah. Um. Negative tilt on people you don't know. Uh. Number five. Yes. How is that a negative? It's negative for them. They they suffer. Oh, yeah. okay. So it's more of like a you telling them like, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Look. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Oh, because there's a fifth one. There's five in neutral. <laughs> JB's oh. correcting our math. <laughs> JB's correcting our math in our ears, everyone. <laughs> Well, it was on a separate page. It's on a separate page, yes. Yeah. It doesn't yeah, count. It didn't have all the data. <laughs> yeah, JB. God, JB. Like it better when you were Comic Con. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, all of a sudden, we're off oh, air. Right there. Right goes right to that. <laughs> I went too far. I went too far, and I'm sorry. It was a joke. <laughs> 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 All right, well, as I pry my foot out of my mouth, uh, are we ready to go on? <laughs> yes. That's probably for the best, yeah. If we're still on air, yes. That's right. <laughs> <clears throat> All 
All right. Yeah, so the idea here is we're gonna think about what we wanna do for this process of upgrading your character and upgrading your team um, over the course of the, of the session. Um, so- Are we talking about multiple sessions or just one session? Probably multiple. Okay. Um, like over the course of your campaign. Campaign, thank you. Yeah, your, mm -hmm. that's the word I was thinking of. Yes. Yeah. Um, and I don't think we've settled how you're gonna like get those improvements yet, like mechanically. Um, we talked a little bit about it. But, yeah, um, we've had some ideas, but I agree. I don't think we've settled. Right. Like, I think we had said it probably has something to do with like triggering your. Go team combo go or whatever we were calling it. Um, so what would we want to see included on as, as things that we're upgrading either individually or for the team? Where do we want to start with it? I think we should start individually first, and That's then what like I was say. yeah, because yeah, because yeah. then yeah, you can sort of build a team based on yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Um, all right, so. I have one idea ready. Um, Fire away. Well, for, before we go. I'm uh, holding on to it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> just, so, just so people who are tuning in for the first time and um, people like me, um, remember everything. Let's just talk real quick about how powers are going to work. Like mechanically, what happens when you use your powers? Mm -hmm. That's a good question. Yeah. So it's it's using a stat die associated with that power, mm -hmm. adding right. uh, adding a power die along with it. And aiming for a target without going too far over and losing control of your powers or staying or going under and having your power not work the way you want it to, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. The meter. The meter. Mm -hmm. That's right. Oh, what was it called? Doug had the perfect name for it. The hype. The hype. The yeah. hype meet, right? No, the hype the bar? The hyper bar was hyper uh, bar, for, for yeah. your team combo. Oh, that's right. Oh, okay. um, as long as we still have hyper bar somewhere, Doug. I'm just making sure. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> I can't ever get rid of it. That's now. why we're here. <laughs> yep. Um, my thought. Yeah. Can, can I let it go now? Because I've been. Yeah, yeah, yeah go for it. Uh, maybe as they get higher, like that, uh, super die increases. So maybe it starts at a D four and then goes to a D six. I see. Yeah. yeah. Is that something in the tech tree? So like it would be swap your D4 for a D6? Or swap your super dice. Mm -hmm. Upgrade upgrade your super dice to a D6? Up upgrade is the word we're looking for. Yes. Yeah. Want to upgrade? I don't know why I got this song stuck in my head. Because it's a great be song. It is a great song. And so the super die we said is going to start at D6, right? Oh, is it going to start at D6? I don't remember. I don't know. The, only, the only thing I remember from that conversation about uh, <laughs> combat is Austin and I having our discussion about... Should the GM roll or not? <laughs> yeah, that's all I remember. You still have to fight that out. We will. We'll duke it out. <laughs> That'll be a bonus episode. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've got D4 in the game. You could start at D4, too. Yeah, that like I was like I was just thinking like maybe if we're starting at a D four, and then like they upgrade to a D six. Yeah. Um, yeah. Is the in kids on brooms the magic die is D four, right? I think so. Where's my yes. Yeah. That. Yeah. But all of our, hey, this is an extra die thing. Start at D four, so we should keep it at that. Yeah, keep it at that. Yeah. It makes sense. Mm -hmm. That would be a D four.
Um, mathematically, there's really no difference, statistically speaking, um, between giving people a plus one, like a static plus one, and upgrading the die, right? Like the average roll that a D4 gets is 2.5. Yeah, correct. Mm -hmm. Average roll for a D6 is 3.5. Right, yes. So are, are those redundant or are we allowing people to say like, I want control over this. Like I wanna, I wanna know I'm just gonna increase by one always. Mm. I think they're probably redundant. Yeah, I would agree with Sean on that. Yeah. Okay. What do you think, Doug? It it depends how streamlined we want it to be. If we want it to be extra streamlined, I think it's not. I, I think we don't need both. I think. Right. I don't think they're redundant redundant i just don't know if they add if it adds enough to be its own thing if we want to keep it right because i mean adding a plus yeah. one increases the bottom roll forever right like you're never going to get a one ever right yeah actually that one's going to go over there it's just me tossing ideas yeah i'm i think mean, i think they're both fine right now i mean let's just you know throw stuff at the wall and then we can trim it down later right mm -hmm. By the way, my color is pink, so like. <laughs> well, there's no purple, so I can't participate. Oh. Wait, where, where did it go? <laughs> hey, where did it go? Is it still there for everyone? Yeah. Yeah. I see it. All right. I added something to it just to. I see it. Yeah. Yeah. Is it? That's what you meant, right? Yeah. Okay. Wait. Different. Different way to Do use same power. Same? No, I meant like a. Whole new a, complete, power. a completely new power okay yeah like say if you, you know fire maybe you learn a little bit like air i, I don't know if i'm going to avatar with like elemental and, but like yeah yeah oh, or, the, or, or, so or. this one's like a further down like one like this is like like one of the last levels you hit yeah i feel like we have to cap it right i don't mm -hmm. i i think it's a good idea i just think we have to you can't just learn unlimited new powers yeah no 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 like like yeah. i said this is gonna be like one of the last yeah i like yeah. that yeah i feel like it should be it has to be something that's related to the power you have like okay how how far in avatar are you season are you, two episode are you thinking cora uh no i'm thinking okay. uh the special kind of bending yes and that goes into there's some more of that it's not cora. a spoiler if you say it i know what you're like just just say okay. it um so <laughs> In was end of the second season, third season, um, blood bending becomes a thing, and that's like a special kind of water bending where you oh yeah I heard about that control the blood in a person's body oh yeah. and so like so, oh, yikes <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, it becomes illegal later don't worry oh, okay good 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 <laughs> that is unequivocally the creepiest episode and when it Penny is... was watching it we were like hey we're not gonna watch this one yeah <laughs> my my son watches avatar he just turned eight my son watches avatar before bed and he came in the other night and he's like not supposed to get up after bed we turn the timer yeah. on the tv and he came in and i was like what are you doing up bud and he's like it's really scary there's an old lady and i was like oh no okay let's go switch that <laughs> disc <laughs> that one is terrifying right but like but related to was what you're yeah, saying. Yeah, something like yeah. that. Like, like if I can control fire, I don't think it should be like, and now I can teleport. Right. But if you yeah, can I, water bend, you can now blood bend. It's a yeah, like, like I was going to say, if you can do fire. Okay, well, that's that's the question. Is are we are are we in? We're going to have travel powers versus regular. Is are we going to split powers sort of by types and stuff? Because yeah, I don't I don't know if we need that restriction. I, I think. I mean, Okay. You get those weird combinations with superheroes. Right. That's what I was thinking of. Like some I was going through the okay. Titans in my head and like trying to you know, categorize their powers and I was more thinking lending the number of additional powers versus the type. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely think there needs to be a limit to how many powers. Yeah, like you can't yeah. know like time travel, uh water bending. Uh, uh, oh, you can't gosh. be super, you can't be super, super fast, right. yeah. So you can't be yeah. Superman, basically. Yes. You can't be Superman, yeah. but I think if, like, if you can control fire, you can 
you could learn to control air by controlling like air Steam? moves based yeah. yeah air moves based on like how hot something is like i can heat the air there and that pushes it over here okay well then i think that can be a different node on the upgrade tree right like learning a whole new power set and getting this new variation to your power could be two different things yes I agree. and one could be attainable sooner than the other So you could learn a, so by the end, you could learn a new variation of your power and also learn a second power that is unrelated. You can fire bend and time travel. Is that right, John? Is that how you're? That's, that's what I'm thinking, yeah. Okay, yeah, so I'll make sure I understood. That sits super weird with me. Um... The one thing you do to balance out having multiple pe people who start with multiple powers versus not is like you somewhere somehow if you have two powers instead of start, insert, insert, start, starting with two powers instead of one those powers operate at a lower level somehow than the person who starts with only a single power. You, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, I, mm -hmm. I, mean, I think everybody starts with one power, right? No, they don't over overwhelm the kids. Well, I was, I was, I was going through, I was going through that in my head, but I was going through the runaways and the Teen Titans in my head and trying to hmm. see where he did. Is there anyone who clearly starts with two powers or, you know, there's nothing. Uh, I mean, in, me. doesn't Invincible start with two? I mean, yeah, yeah, but he's, uh, he's like, I know he's an outlier. That's fair. That's, <laughs> that's fair. But even, even in like Titans, like Starfire has several different powers. So. Yeah, she has flight, flight, and fire, fire. She's a flying energy protector. She, well, I'm sorry, I'm using terms that I shouldn't probably use, but she flies and she shoots fire, right? So, hmm. well, but if did she use, go ahead. I, I think we were going to say the same thing. Go ahead. I was going to say, did she use, are those together? Like Azula can fire bend, but she can also use that fire to kind of fly. Is that what Starfire does? She, Are they connected? She, no, they're, but, they're she, but she also has strength, durability. Yeah. Oh, but, she's yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. She, yeah, she, she, she is. Yeah, she, she is super strong. She fly. She can fly independently, whether she's using her fire powers or not. Just to answer your question. But you know, are we watching her from her origin story, or are we seeing her now after she's been doing this for years? No, that's that's the data out the gate. That's how she is out the gate. Well, she's the only one because she's an alien. Do, it, do, do the rest of them have only one power? Well, it depends how you count. Like, like a beast, um, um, beast boy, cha changeling, changeling slash yeah. beast boy, whatever he's called now, um, is he can fly by turning into a bird, for example. Oh. Right. But it's okay. just mainly shape shifting. Like he's shape his main power yeah, is, te is technically shape shifting. Yeah. 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 Right. But it's like a, in champions' terms, it would be in a. a very variable powerpoint pool where you can so, actually you can actually goof with the power you turn to you you suddenly spend points to suddenly have crushing abilities a snake or something and you, know, you don't want to put that in the scheme but that's just i'm just saying. yeah I'm, I'm just saying no i'm, I'm gonna say then like how, like i guess we don't want to limit people's abilities to like from the get-go like hey you can only have one power but also i kind of do because i want them to like feel those limitations of learning that struggle and like how to yeah. better themselves but like well, that's what I'm saying. Like that extra power could be farther up the tree. It doesn't have to be a thing. Yeah, that's what I'm that's saying. This extra power checked. is like further up the tree when I first put right. it out. Yeah. yeah. I wonder if that should be like not a tech tree thing. Like if that should be a narrative thing that happens in game where like that way, that way it's a decision like as a table where like they go and they explore the lab that gave them powers and there's more serum there and they're like, light oh please yeah. not not more super soldier serum right. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's super soldier trying to recreate the super soldier formula has right. created about five to ten percent of the marvel universe by my account right. <laughs> <laughs> it's really not a good good path to go down yeah right for my second for my second superhero power jab i will get this <laughs> for 45 minutes i will have super strength <laughs> um so i don't i don't know i I agree with Morgan that I think the the focus should be how the hell do I use this thing that I have? Right. I mean, it's an origin story, so right. We don't want them to have twenty seven powers by the end. Right. Well, I mean, I think I think twenty seven versus two is considerably. Yeah. 
Oh yeah. yeah, I'm good with two. I was just, yeah. Mm -hmm. How they use that one power though, like shape shifting or water bending. That's. Well, I like I like the two. I'm with Jonathan on it too because that way you're going to be able to create more unique characters. You know, you, you can. Mm -hmm. I'm just. I'm sorry, Mister. I'm trying to look up something at the same time that we're doing this. So. Reading. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm actually paying attention. I'm, I'm listening. I'm just doing. I'm, I'm just giving me a shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's fine. It's like who reads? <laughs> Yeah, it's startling to me. I'm, I'm, I'm people. I'm, I'm the only person who takes books to work, and people like, it's like, yeah, you read. It's like, <laughs> oh. you're, you're, you're engineers. What you don't read? <laughs> How do you do your job? Yeah. I am what they call a burned out millennial who read a lot in high school and junior high. That reading what now? Uh, -uh doesn't happen. <laughs> Not a thing. Not a thing. I was on library duty at work one time and kids were having a loud discussion where one guy came in and was loudly bragging to a table of girls he was trying to impress um, that he hadn't done the reading for English class. And they were like, that's not, we're not impressed. <laughs> um, and, and this girl was sitting there reading. It's like, like, why are you, why are you reading? Nobody reads anymore. Who, who reads? She was like, lots of people. <laughs> smart smart people <laughs> yeah so, um so keep reading folks <laughs> i read game books now does that count oh yeah no I, that's I what consider, nick reads yeah that's yeah, yeah I, I totally consider that reading. Oh, okay. um no so i'm just going i'm just refreshing my memory on the runaways to see how they all what power sets what they started oh, with. It, looks, okay. it looks like they're all single power more or less uh, i'm gonna look at the misfits now too now that we're talking about stuff oh right. good yeah you should definitely do that and yeah. um heroes also had a single power too like clear was regeneration hero is time travel yeah uh one person had like ice powers yeah alphas was the same way actually alphas they all had they were all had I'm pretty sure they all had unique single power. Uh, yeah. Siler, the reason why he got multiple powers is because he, uh, he was looked into he, the brains. But, that's, yeah, yeah, but that was his powers. He stole powers, right? Yeah, he, he stole the powers by looking into people's brains. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it was a pretty unpleasant character, yeah. Um, OK, one of them had super strength and invulnerability, OK. Sure. Well, Lactokinesis? What? That's, oh a, that's a highly special. Oh, yep, yep. I remember that the show. <laughs> Lactokinesis? <laughs> the power of over dairy face. For, to feel like it'll, it'll be a more control, control, control of dairy yeah. products. Yeah. Wow, that is very specific. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's um, like questionable worth power. Is, yeah. <laughs> so, are we thinking of having them start with more than one power is that why we're no i think we're thinking of having them start with just one okay okay oh really why why not two i think that there would be more variety of characters with starting with two. Oh, camouflage any two well if you balance them out right yeah it shouldn't be a problem because yeah. because again flight you, okay the thing you're gonna run to is tra people weren't gonna want to have travel powers as well as you know, in my experience, people are going to have a travel power as well, the minimum of travel power as well as some other power. Yeah. That's, that's, that tends to be how people are going to want to operate. So. I mean, so, you could actually go like, you could, if you really, you could actually have like a column A and column B where it's like, you have to pick, you can pick one cow, one power from A and one from B. And you can't so you can't pick two from B and two from A, for example. You okay, can try so to balance it out that way a little bit. Yeah. Like a stronger I mean, power want, and a weaker power. Something like that. Yeah, that's kind of where my head was at. Yeah. yeah. I'm still I'm still boggled by lactokinesis. I think we broke Doug. <laughs> Doug, did we break you? Yeah, <laughs> Doug, you're awful quiet here. <laughs> I'm thinking, like, <laughs> do they have? Yeah, I agree. Um, yeah, let 
let's take a quick break while I figure out what I'm <laughs> thinking. Okay. I don't, even we taking... I don't even know what I'm thinking right now. Right. Lace, oh. Lace was a dinosaur, right? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Are we going to take 10? Yeah, because we always wind up taking more than five. So just to be fair to, fair to the viewers, 10 minutes. Mm. Okay. All right. Yeah. yeah. Hey, welcome back, everybody. All right. Um, and so, of course, as soon as we uh, went to break, we immediately started talking again um, in... <laughs> Uh, in more productive ways. Um, JB had a, a really good suggestion to us in our, our Zoom chat here, um, which is, could you just give them access to all of the tech trees, like tech trees for each individual power? And as they level up, they get more points to allocate in them. So they can either have one really strong ability, right? I can control fire real good, or I can control fire pretty well and I can teleport pretty well. Um, and the thing is, are we like, are we limiting the tech trees to specific powers? Or are we just keeping it open for the character to grow? So oh, the question, yeah. The thing I was going to suggest is, and I think I, I linked it maybe the first or second, and I'll really link it in the chat again. Okay. Um, there's a really good uh, superpower wiki, and it, it breaks pretty much every superpower into like 11 categories. So if we wanted to do that much work, we could have 11 tech trees that are essentially every superpower. And then you're just selecting a tech tree and then building out your superpower by going down the tech tree. And I think that would cover the majority of what we wanna do with them. Um, Looking at the link. Yeah. So many powers. Yeah, I think we'll have to come back to this. Holy cow, it keeps going. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it does. Oh, no, it doesn't yeah, stop. Yeah, and this is just the list of every no, superpower, not even I don't, the I don't, mm -mm, descriptions I'm, of them. I do not. I do not um, want that responsibility. <laughs> yeah. Let's, well, that, that's why I think the upper categories are a better direction for us. Right, yeah. Like physics or reality manipulation. Like as examples? As as like the basis for the tech tree. Uh, so you're still on the mindset of doing a tech tree for each power? I think so. Uh, that seems like a lot. <laughs> well, it, it would be 11 tech lot. trees, but otherwise you're going to have to come up with one tech tree that's not going to have a lot. Like if there's, f if there's four players in one GM and there's only one tech tree. No, one tech tree gonna... per each player. But like they have it's, to be it's, it's, not, it's not power specific, though. It's just it's for them it's as they grow a, a generic right. one. Yeah. yeah, a generic tech tree. But so we instead of having a one generic tech tree that would encompass any power, we're talking about having 11 tech trees. And I'm guessing will be specific and different, right? They'll have they'll hit different like level ups. That's what I guess that's how I pictured it in my mind when we started talking about them. But. Yeah, I'm I was asking for things. clarification. Yeah, that's that's what I was thinking. And I had been thinking that the tech tree would be, everybody gets the same, regardless of what your power is, you get the same tech tree to start. And then it's just, I'm going in this direction with this and I'm using, you know, the, the tech tree explains the mechanical stuff, but the, what you do with that is narrative. Mm -hmm. um, so one thing that uh, John mentioned that I think is helpful during the break is his design maxim, um, which is a good one, which is let them do the fun thing, right? If people want to have multiple powers, let them have multiple powers. Um, and then my design maxim is like, get the mechanics the hell out of the way, which I think like in some ways is is at potentially at odds with this, um, mm -hmm. right? Like, so, some way, yeah. They don't. It doesn't have to be, but yeah. right. Which is why I think my 
current thought, and I don't know if it's a good one, is that sort of like JB said, like you have five points to a lot. If I want to allot five to a single tech tree and I only have one power, cool, great. I only have one power. If I want to allot um, three to one and two to the other, also great. And making that a sort of like advanced variant, right? Like the thing I was thinking about during the break is the time that I ran a game of Dungeons and Dragons with three players who had never played fifth edition and started them all at fifth level. And they were like, we have no idea what the hell is happening. Yeah. And I was like, well, it's real easy. You just do you cast hunters mark and then you do this and then you do this and then you do this. They were like, yeah, I don't know. Um, so I, I just worry that if, I don't know, I, I, I guess as long as it's an option to do two rather than saying choose two check trees and then like maybe just a little bit of verbiage that says like it's a little bit more advanced to do two at once if this is your first game or you're uncomfortable with this concept just start with one you know what I mean like because then they can still do the fun thing but it's really clear that like this is going to add a little bit more mechanical complexity and more difficult choices for you I, I just don't know where the line is drawn where like we're giving them too many choices that become choice paralysis versus them being ha like running free with imaginations that like right and I feel like I don't know like I just feel like 11 check trees is a lot mm. <laughs> and I'd be like oh god I like yeah oh. Well, oh, eleven is nothing. You should hear. Look, I don't. I don't compare to other games. This is not other games. <laughs> Pull out the champions rule book. How many powers? Oh no! This thing oh no! Is, but, the list goes yeah. on. Put that away, good sir. Put <laughs> <laughs> it down. And mutants and masterminds is the same way. I mean, it's all just, right, it's, Nick, it's, you're writing powers. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's all you, bud. I, that, that's your section. Um, so we did well, have a question as well. Um, since we're talking about power trees, um, yeah, in the chat that says. Uh, can we play as powerless characters? And I asked for clarification if this meant like a friend who isn't a superhero or someone who's like, quote unquote, powerless, like Robin. And um, Drew meant Robin. So like someone who's, and yes, technically their power is being like highly skilled in those specific martial arts right. or like knowing tech, but it's not really quote unquote, a, a, it's not like a, I got electrocuted by a freak storm. Now I have superpowers sort of thing. Right. Mm -hmm. That, but that's that to me is just narration. I, like I said before, I think that's really yeah. just, yeah. Yeah. So, right. Like if I control fire and I use, uh, I control it with my grit and that's my D20. And then I add my power die to that versus Robin, who adds, has a D20 in fight and adds a D4 power die for his martial arts training. Right, and you know, this gets into also what, what what constitutes a superpower too. In my the super world, one of the last games I ran, there were people whose power was they just had insanely high skills. Mm -hmm. So you had a mm -hmm. guy who literally was a lawyer; he never lost a case ever, right. and that was a superpower. You know, boom, that was it. <laughs> yeah. And they were not they weren't considered superheroes because the people had, they were flying under the radar because people were always looking for guys with lightning bolts and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Right, mm -hmm. the superpower of never having to sleep. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Right. <laughs> no one can, can someone like Robin or someone who never loses a case fit into one of the eleven suggested tech trees? Yeah, Person? I think so. I actually I sent a refined list of like eight or nine, and that would be oh, cool. uh, physics like or reality a, or personal personal physical but, powers. Yeah, personal physical powers, which could be um, yeah. I'm going to copy this into a sticky note. Or, Oh, you're uh, good. Okay. Good. I'm putting in a sticky note. Boop. Boop. Yeah. Why does it? It doesn't let me do. Okay, it's going to be like that. <laughs> uh, I hate. Hold on. I'm going to fix this. <laughs> this is the worst. Because it won't let you like list them. <laughs> Why won't you make? Hold on. I'm just going to do. Oh yeah, I'm just gonna do one of these where I just space everything out. <laughs> oh no, I you can also do it right. as a text box. 
That's no. seven. That's actually seven powers, right, Jonathan? Or is, is, um, I did physics, Yeah, I didn't. It's phys it's physics or reality manipulation, correct? If that's one line, that should be one line, right? Right. Physics okay. or yeah. Oh, oh, oh! I see. Yeah, yeah. It is there seven. Okay, okay. I did it. And and potentially magic, if we wanted magic to be a thing. Or well, I, if, I guess if I thought, I think if you want to do magic, you say go, you go buy kids on brooms and have them. Yeah, do that. I feel that like system. that's a different game. Yeah. yeah. Right. Well, well. Well, I'm not, but I think, but I think actually, I think that's not, that's not a, I'm not saying it's a pejorative, I'm saying it's a positive, because I think if I, if I want to play Zatanna, which is one of my favorite characters, underrated character, I would use Kids on Brooms to do her magic, because it literally is her perfect simulation of her magic. Mm -hmm. It's pretty much exactly what she does. And she had the gimmick is she has to say the spell backwards, but yeah, that's, you know, but, the, but that she literally can do all sorts of goofy stuff, and that's exactly what Kids on Brooms lets you do. Yeah. <laughs> Suck it, <laughs> Dr. Pate. What? <laughs> JB's causing problems. Look, JB. <laughs> You're back one week. <laughs> <laughs> um, so one other thing I was wondering about for the tech tree, like, do we want to add like a training thing where you boost a stat either as a plus one to rolls or with an increased die? Oh, like instead of their super, they, they boost their stat itself? Yeah. Mm. I, I think giving it a, a dice boost may be a little too much for that. But I do like the plus ones. Well, the plus one and the die boost are, are functionally the same. The same. Even when you get to like, a, is it, does it cap at d20 or like? Yeah, I think you probably would cap at d12. Twelve, yeah, because twenty, 20, 20 is, 20 is plus three. Yeah, it's a big jump, yeah. yeah. Or plus four. Yeah. As as is constantly pointed out to us how dumb we are with our dice system. <laughs> and then and then I have to fight back with math. Right. <laughs> <laughs> how dare you, sir? <laughs> yeah, my, my favorite is but a D four is if, with explosions, a D four is always going to roll higher than a D six. <laughs> They have an odd definition of always. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. And then what? <laughs> they have an odd definition of always. <laughs> right. They... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you keep on using that word, but I don't think it means what you think it means. <laughs> it means statistically so... speaking less frequently. If so, you are correct. Mm -hmm. Anyway. We we don't have to necessarily decide because we have both up here now, right? We don't have to necessarily decide whether their stat increases by a plus one or right. an upgraded die. I think the the question is, do we want that to be part of the tree? Boosting right. a stat. I think it's a good idea. And we can flesh out later exactly what that looks like. But... Sure. Yeah, I just I throw them both out there for now. I'm sorry, Jonathan, what was that? Yeah, I said I agree. I put a, I say I put them both out there for now. Well, wouldn't, wouldn't increasing stats fall under personal physical powers sort of technically or, or I guess actually no, it should be something. Never mind, forget I said that. Do we have an idea of how many of these we want on a tech tree? Could you clarify what you mean by that? I'm like sure. where does the tech tree end, right? Like how many different boosts or level ups are we going to provide if, if we look at like other games that have like advancements like that um let me just pull up like maths for example real quick i'm looking at a playbook um they have eight two four five six seven eight yeah Oh, my, my God, I've got so I was going to say like somewhere between five and eight of like maybe. One of the things we had talked about before, I think it was on stream, but maybe it wasn't, is that at some point for what this game wants to do, you're just done upgrading, right? Like you can, you can do right. 10 upgrades and then your story, you're no longer learning to be heroes, you're heroes. Mm -hmm. Right, yeah. You, yeah, you um, hit the, the end of the arc, yeah. Right. Upper, yeah. And so even if your tech tree isn't full, 
And then that also creates that tension between, do I put this to the group or do I put this to the individual? Right. Um, so I want to make sure I, I'm understanding the same way that everyone else is talking. When we say tech tree, do we mean like an actual branching tree or do we mean like a apocalypse powered style? Here's a list of things you can unlock. When you get a point, you can just choose anyone. I, I had been thinking the first, but this is really moving into the second. Same, same. I was thinking the first, but. And uh, so I was thinking the second. So can you explain the first? Then maybe we can all. Like you have to start with this one first and then move on to the next one to get it. Like there, instead of like being able to be a pick and choose, like what you take first, you right. everybody it's, starts with this, the, the same one first. And then so, so it's a leveling up sort of thing. Yeah. Oh, like, no, that's what I was thinking. Never mind. And yeah. so like in the in the first one, there would be things where like in order to do this really cool thing, you need to boost this skill to this level and this skill to this level. And then you can combine them to do this thing. And, and that's kind of why I was advocating for separate tech trees so that initially we all felt very different. Whereas if we just have one tech tree that everybody starts off with the exact same thing, Right. It's going to take us a bunch of time to differentiate on that tree. Right. I mean, is it though if everybody has different powers, but they have like the same generic like start? Like But if but if everybody gets the same thing at the start, there's really no point in having that thing. No, the, like, uh, so this is my this is where I was thinking of a generic check tree versus one tech tree per ch one generic check tree per a character versus a tech tree per each possible power thingies you know like i have the words in my brains instead of us doing the work of like writing seven different tech trees we write one generic tech tree that each character will have mm -hmm. and depending on their powers they can choose like how that goes for them so i think the only so if it, if a tech tree kind of looks like this, right? Mm -hmm. I think I'm just advocating in, instead of starting them here, mm -hmm. we're starting everyone here on their own individual. Okay, how, since we're power paths. Yeah. Okay. okay. So since we're drawing power paths, well, I was thinking each character has their own thing. Like this is I'll just draw a character sheet right here. We're just gonna be doing charades now. <laughs> <laughs> kids in capes Oop. and then each character has like their own thing so like this is like their tech tree here and it goes to that and then it just keeps going and it's generic enough for us to be like okay cool this thing happens how does this look for you like how does this happen for you like you know like i don't know no i yes uh, yes i understand what you're saying okay i I think for it to warrant being its own system within the other systems, it has to carry considerable weight. I, this is the first time that we're having advancements though, right? Like, Yes. So, uh, well, Teens in Space has advancements, but. You know, it... <laughs> and, it, and it's more of a pick, pick whatever one you want, spend your points yeah. by one. Versus a tech tree, okay. I was originally thinking that if we had seven or 11, if, if we had specific tech trees, I was originally thinking that we were gonna box players in too much, but it, they seem to be, this list, John, that you provided seems to be broad enough that it wouldn't box folks and they could still pick pretty much any power and link it to a, one of these. Yeah, that's that's what I kind of felt. And even if two of us choose energy manipulation, I think we can still build the tree. Like our very first one may be the same, but it's going to be sooner before we're going down different paths. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
but I, I definitely I think it's important that the players feel more unique from this stuff in a mechanical manner, not just narratively. Right. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, we're talking about actual using the stats now for with these power paths. I'm just like that was that was just a question. I don't know if it's workable. Yeah, I'm 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 trying to like lay out ideas. So I got a couple of them on there, but Well, so would it make sense? Do, do we feel like we're firm on the way that powers work at this point? Or are we still kind of fuzzy about what that's going to look like in terms of play? I'm still a touch fuzzy, I feel. Mechanically? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm fuzzy. I mean, mm -hmm. it's... Do, do you mean beyond stat die plus power die? Yeah. Yeah. Like, how do they, like, this is your power, this is what you do, like, these are, this is the dice you roll, like. Yeah, and I'm trying to, I'm trying to think, I'm trying to zoom in and out a lot with the way that I'm thinking about this, because mm -hmm. we have to kind of, like, when the powers get introduced, how is that going to work? And then when the powers are happening, how is that going to work? And then how is this going to tie into those two things? So I think when the powers, the way I would envision it, when the powers get introduced, the GM pauses the action, throws, you know, tells people, all right, tech tree time, um, you know, if we do, everybody gains their powers at once, everybody gets it at the same time. If we do, um, you know, the little vignettes where like on your first failed roll, you gain a power based on that or something, mm -hmm. um, then it just works. It's sort of broken up that way. Um, but then you get this tech tree and the GM says, all right, add, spend five, you know, bubble in five things or bubble in three things to start whatever answer if we do the power path tech trees answer these questions about your uh energy manipulation mm -hmm. what kind of energy do you manipulate um what does it feel like when you manipulate it you know like questions to build out the narrative use of the power and then all right cool choose a starting place, bubble in three things from that starting place. That's how I would see it work. Okay. Mm -hmm. Doesn't mean it's right. No, that's helpful. We have to have some more to start right to make sure we're all on the same page i mean that makes sense to me mm -hmm. you repeat that doug please i kind of didn't get i don't think it got it all yeah so so we're playing i'm gming um and your powers activate for how, however that happens right we talked about a couple of possibilities but mm -hmm. um i say okay great um nick your character uh alfonso just um, activated his power. Um, and so because he, um, because he was falling and there was no other way to save himself, flight activated for him. He, he can now fly. Here is the tech tree for transportation. Um, and off you go, right? Like bubble in, uh, choose one of these starting points on the tree bubble that in, and then bubble in two more building off of that starting point. Okay. So, so we're yeah. designing the tech trees like from like, and putting all the powers that we can possibly put in there and that's all they got to choose? I, I no, mm -hmm. I don't think so. I think it's like the, the power paths, um, any, anybody who's starting with transportation gets the power path for, um, 
poor transportation. And it might be that my character teleports and Nick's character flies. Mm -hmm. Right. Both of those okay. are transportation power. And so those trees are going to look. Super, super speed would be another one. For right. Yeah. Similar. Like, yeah. okay. Eventually. Those all be the same tree. Right. Eventually, yeah. I'll be able to teleport somebody with me. Eventually, Nick will be able to fly somebody with him. Right. But that's going to eventually be a choice that we make. You know, eventually, I'll be able to teleport further mm -hmm. and he'll be able to fly for a longer period of time. Okay. Um, how are we advancing in tech trees again? I think we talked about this. Like, how do they get the points? Do we not talk about it? Did I just make that up in my head? <laughs> Doug, we, sorry. <laughs> no, no, no. I, we sort of like talked around it a little bit. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. So if well, I'm not missing it, that's fine. We can do that, yeah. yeah. I think okay. the thing that we had floated was when your group activates like a hyper combo, mm -hmm. then everybody's gonna get a point to use during recovery after that battle. Like you mm -hmm. learn something about your own powers or you learn something about working. As yeah, I like that. It in one or the other, that I like, yeah. yeah. But does that mean that each time, like each, I guess that we had to like put beats in like, hey, maybe don't set up every single episode that you run or every single session as a fight because it was just gonna launch them straight up that path. Right. Yeah. Like maybe they need a cooldown period as like characters are fighting. Well, it could also be that not every fight fills their hyper. Yeah. Okay. Right. Like if if we're stopping, you know, if we have a a couple sessions where we've gotten pretty good and we like are just stopping bank robberies, like you know, we I teleport Kristen in. Kristen blasts one of them with fire control. Meanwhile, Nick yeah. flies John in and like, you know, whatever, whatever. It's over like in a roll or two, there's no combo meter. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Which I think also mechanically drives that sort of narrative that you see in these origin stories where character where the, the characters like or like, I want to do more. I want to do more. I'm not challenging myself. Let me do more. Um, yeah, yeah. But anyway. Um, and, and, and eventually some of them overextend themselves and they go down and, you know. Yep, right. collateral damage. Okay. Yeah. Um, so I think something like that is how, but you would, you would earn. That point, that point either earn, has to go to yeah, team would, or individual. Right. Right. So we have to figure out, obviously, how many, so if we do between five and eight advancements per tech tree, and then how many, what does each advancement cost? Okay, right? right. I think ideally yeah. each thing costs one. Well, yeah, yeah. Okay. And the, way, and the way that you make like the higher level stuff more costly is you can't just go boom, 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 top level. It has to be, I do this and this to get to this. And then right, I yeah. do this and this to get to this. Yeah, City, City of Heroes uses, if it's an MORPG, City of Heroes does exactly that. You have to progress up. You can't, you know, they just... Well, mass is like a fail forward situation. So every time you fail, you get an experience. And then when you get five experience, you're able to level up because you learn from your mistakes. Right. Huh. Right, and so like with this, since I'm not going to try to draw on the, um, to actually draw on there, like in order to get to this very top one, you would need to fill in all of these on the bottom, to fill in both of those to get to that top. But okay. you can just make circles. Look at this. You can just just draw circles. I mean, I could. <laughs> <gasps> yeah, circles. <sighs> okay. Oh, you can make other shapes too. Hold on. So. My. Yeah. I'm clear on everything we just discussed. I don't know how I feel about the six categories based on stats. 
Yeah, I was just goofing around with that. That's why I'm sort of sidetracked. I was just goofing around with that on a notepad here to see if, see what my thoughts, try to clarify what my feelings were on it. Too. Because I think it should relate to more how they're feeling, right? Like how how the power reflects on them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't I don't think we want to shoot one that one. Right. I'm sorry. What was that, Jonathan? You don't like. I don't. I don't think we want to shoehorn them into a specific stat. Yeah, I, I agree. the other because right. the, the other argument I would make is that transportation should all yeah be outside of them. If we did that, but yeah, go ahead. I'm sorry. Right, because like then if I'm doing if I have the illusion power path, then any trope that doesn't have brains as the D20 is suboptimal, and I I think that's yeah. the wrong move. So yeah. Yes. Yes. I agree. I agree. Yep. So, yeah. I, so I can throw this out because I'm convinced. I'm convinced that that's not the way to go. It's garbage. So seven tech trees. Okay. Well, mimicry and illusion are kind of. We could probably just call illusion. Mimicry and illusion are kind of the same thing. I mean, illusion uh, just mimicry is a subset of illusion in my mind. No mimicry. Uh, well, so going off the list that I said, or is that is that what they call shape mimicry? Is like shape shifting. Okay, then leave it. Then yeah, okay. That, age you know, shifting. It, yeah, call it shape shifting. That's even even easy. things like dermal armor and elasticity right. are right, in right, that yeah. Yeah. skill tree. Yeah, yeah. The shape shifting, yeah, yeah, you cover like plastic man, elastic girl, all that crap. Mm -hmm. yeah. Sorry, I'm actually like laying out what you drew, so. Oh yeah, for the points and the yeah yeah. Let me get my. Could you so make Doug, more lines? So Doug, you're <laughs> you're suggesting an inverted tetri, where you have to fill in the things below to support the thing above. Is that an inverted tetri? Uh, <laughs> I guess in the way that I'm thinking of it, I, I I think of it more as like a tree blossoming out. So you have the the trunk. And then it branches out into decisions, and those decisions mm. branch into other. Yeah. Well, the other thing is, if we do, if we do the, the the branching thing, it doesn't. It can we can actually we have control, right? We can say limit it to like each each thing has only three choices, so that way you don't overwhelm the players out the gate. You know, like for transportation, we could limit it to you know flight, super speed, or and you know, teleport or something like that. Yeah, just we can we can. Yeah, you know, and then you know, if we want to add stuff later, you can. That's like what expansions are for, right? Right. So. Or yeah, or a blank one, and we say, you know, if you want to, you can write something in. Right. Yes. Exactly. That's right. That's the. Answer. So yeah. there's also like the, um, the tree in Final Fantasy X. Oh no. Um, They're so elaborate. <laughs> Sorry. Well, they are, but they they make an interesting way to do it too, where you actually you start here in the middle with having this this thing, and then these branch out into their specialties. Okay, that's true. That's right. So it, it's not that bad, but then you're trying to so you you know you cross off this one to start, and this is your base power, and then you're gonna like. Oh, well, I want to make I want to make it last the effect last longer. So I'm going to go down this tree and start doing that. Right. And then later on, you can be like, oh, well, now I want to add this to it. But how oh, big yeah. are we making the trees? Like how like how many branches are we putting on these things? I don't think they have to be elaborate, but I think they have to be big enough for replayability. So I'm going to guess like 15 things. For each of the seven trees. Feels right. Okay. So each tree would have 15 things. Is that am I hearing that correctly? I, I'm yeah. guessing a number, but okay. Okay. You know, yeah, I would say I would say that'd somewhere. be the minimum. That Correct. would be the minimum. Okay. The minimum. No, I just want to make sure. No, I just so that's, make sure hundred, that's 105 hundred and five things that we have to figure out. Yes, yeah. but there can be there can be things that overlap between them in different areas. Right. Like this thing gets boosted, like Right. Like this is up yeah, like the boost, right? Like the upgrade a die. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it may show up in different places on each. I was just like, yeah, fifteen sounds great, seven sounds great, but also that's that's the, together that's a big number. <laughs> together, that's math. That is math, and I get <laughs> yeah. it on the calculator because that is too many numbers <laughs> for my brain. 
Another uh, skill tree that I was thinking about uh, since we start, we're talking about skill trees is uh, Skyrim. Yes, mm-hmm. I was thinking Skyrim too. Yeah, where you have like your generic like these are ours, and then like you eventually you'll just specialize because like yeah, you really just want to be a two handed fighter and you can't do anything else. Always, always, I always just want to dual wield. You just every chance I get. Nope, two handed, <laughs> not dual wield, just two handed. Oh yeah, two. Okay, yeah, I want to do. That. We'd be a good team, Morgan. <laughs> yeah. I I try to do magic casting so many times. It just does not work out for me. <laughs> Arching? What's that? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Stealth, ar- stealth Archer and Magic is my build every time. Every time I'm like, I'm going to do something different this play. Nope. Same thing. <laughs> so, Dud, with, with your, the way you were visualizing it, is everything on the bottom row available from the start? That was how I was initially. So I could take this one and then I could take this one, but I can't take this one until I take this one, correct? Correct. Yep. Oh, that'd be a full mouse I, writing. I don't dislike that. I worry that it will. But the ultimate goal to get this would be to fill out everything, which means I'm going to be playing it exactly the same every time. Well, right. But I mean, I think you, I mean, that's just a, for example, with only six things on it. I think you, with only being able to fill in X number, you're never going to fill, well, I mean, you might fill stuff in the same wage multiple times. Well, then you'd never be able to reach the top, correct? Correct. Well, you'd never be able to fill everything in. You might be able to reach one of the tops. There might be multiple tops. Oh, I got you. So, I mean, if it, yeah, if it was, um, let me do it with a, can I make that? So it'd be like three ones, three twos, three threes in this picture. And then you take a one, then you take a two, then you take a three. To do a three, you have to have a two or something like that, right? Right. Yeah. Yeah. So if there's four top level ones, Right. Mm-hmm. And the sequence doesn't matter as long as you have a two, you can take any three. Is that is it, that would that would be the most simplest way to do it? Uh, yeah. as, long as, as long as you have two twos, you could take the three. Okay. That would, yeah, that works. Yeah. Yeah. Or something like that. Yeah. You're strict like it. Yeah. But I mean, I think this, um, the other trees are better in terms of not overwhelming people with choice at the beginning, right? Because the way this works is I look at this and I say, okay, I'm gonna choose this one, right? I'm gonna choose the one all the way on the left, but that means I'm never gonna get to the one, the top one all the way on the right, right? Like I've already shot myself in the foot. I've already Mm -hmm. told me I'm never gonna get there. Whereas this one, I say, okay, I'm going to take the one in the center where everybody starts. And then I'm going to go this way uh, and take like the two bottom ones. But now I still have plenty of room to grow and develop in other ways. Mm -hmm. In ways that don't feel paralysis-y at first. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's the way to go. Yeah. And I mean, functionally, the one on the left and the one on the right are the same. Yeah, right, yeah, yeah. It's just a matter of how it's laid out. Yeah, so it's, yeah, it's, it's, yeah, the, 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 it's just a graphical, yeah. It's, right. As long as they're just, as long as the one on the right, they're not, you're not actually building a pyramid with it, yeah, then they're mathematically the same. Yeah. yeah. Or logically the same thing, I should say. Yeah. yeah. Is there one team tech tree? I think so. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> no, please yes. All right, it's gonna I'm gonna start at page two. All right. For I'll, teams. I'll be right back. Sorry. Okay. okay. Do you team. have ideas, John, on why there would be more than one? Or were you just saying uh-huh. maybe to leave it open? <laughs> um Maybe to leave it open, but I, w- 
I was kind of thinking of the crew sheets in um, Blades in the Dark mm. and like different types of teams, but I just that could be a per, that can be a player choice though. <laughs> like how they want to like different. function. Please, please. Like, <laughs> Blades in the Dark is so crunchy. Like I love it. I enjoy the game. It's just very crunchy than kids on bikes. Like on like they're like. Mm-hmm. Yes, they're very different games. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I can just I can think of several different types of super groups. And right. I don't know if they warrant I just don't want to limit people on like being like, hey, these are the super groups that we have for you. Like and that's it, you know? Right. Whereas any power we're saying the theory is right now any power can fit into the tech trees we're gonna create. Whereas if we did multiple tech teams. trees for teams. That is box that could be boxing folks in more. Yeah. Well, I just so I think in the things that you're doing in those trees, there's potentially a lot of difference between like Teen Titans, where you have like you know, a fortress and things being provided to you and a bunch of teens in their tree fort. Mm -hmm. Versus the runaways where you literally have nothing. Yeah, right. but that's that's what building it is like. You build it up to have these things. Like, like if you're just if this is an origin story, you're not going to have from the get go have a fortress. Yeah. You might mm -hmm. have like an like yeah. a like an abandoned shack behind the school or something that you call your your HQ with a you know piece of paper stuck to the the door. But like, keep out. Like, <laughs> you know. Yeah. Well, in the New Teen Titans, they had the fortress, but that's because you're dealing with the universe where there was yeah you know, there was piles of this stuff lying around. So yeah, and then Young Justice were given were given the mountain because they were already like yeah. the super sidekicks, and they're like, "Here you go, you can have our old our old mountain." Right? Yeah. Yeah. So right. yeah, you, you, that's that's a good, that gets into the world building aspect of like is yeah. how how prevalent are superheroes in this world and stuff like that. Yeah. Right. Because mm -hmm. yeah, a, a lot of superheroes are going to be a lot of crap lying around. But yeah, go ahead, Jonathan. I'm sorry. Yeah, I just don't know. I don't know how relevant that is to the pet trees or not. So I just didn't want to close off the discussion. Yeah, no, that's fair. That's why I asked. I didn't know if you had ideas or if you wanted to just leave it open. I mean, it's always good to leave it open for discussion, I think. Yeah. Still with us, Doug? <laughs> you know, you're, you're, you're still with us, Doug? You look like you're you're out of it there. <laughs> I'm here. Well, I just added a couple things to the tech tree. I mean, I am out of it. I've had a Y'all, y'all heard about my printer woes before. We went on there, right? <laughs> oh yeah. Um, what did you add? I don't. On the team tech tree. Oh, am I on the first page still? Sorry. Yeah, me I too. Here I am. <laughs> okay. Uh... Vehicles technology. Okay. I figured that just like went along with base, right? Like we, yeah. we get improved communications technology, and so now we're able to. And then oh, you know, yeah. we had talked about combo attacks before. Yeah. Are we going to provide combo attacks or are we leaving it open? I like leaving it open. I don't want to yeah. limit people. Also that puts, yeah, yeah. I don't want to limit people by, yeah. by our stuff. Right. So they just have to narratively describe how they're going to use their two yeah. powers together. Basically. Yeah, like maybe it's like uh, the Hulk and Wolverine sort of thing. We're like, right. Yeah. The, the fastball special or whatever it's called. So how does that work? Colossus and Wolverine, but yeah, yes. <laughs> Don't be that guy, Nick. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> well, She-Hulk and Wolverine, too. Right? Yeah. <laughs> how does combo attacks work mechanically? Great question. That's why I'm here. <laughs> um, if, so one thing that it could be is if they learn how to work together as a team. Therefore, that's that's how they level up. No, no, no. I totally get that. I love no, no. that. And I want to leave it open, too. I, do, I didn't want to list combo attacks, Morgan, but I just didn't know what. OK, so now you and I have selected combo attacks. Yeah. Now what? If, if we both attack and we both hit, we get something better than the sum of our two attacks. So it's like okay. high, yeah. high risk, high reward um, okay. is one possibility, or yeah. it's we 
are we get a bonus for the thing to work and it does the same amount of damage as it normally would. Um, like okay. you throw me at them. And so if your attack roll for throwing me is successful or my attack roll when I get there is successful, then we're successful together. Okay. Then it does, you know. You get your bonus. Yeah. Right. Um, yeah, I like the, the both succeeding. It just makes it nice and simple. It's not complicated. Yeah. Um, or it could be, I mean, just brainstorming. It could be that we're rolling together to try to hit a mutual target. Mm -hmm. And so if you throw me really good and I swing my claws really bad, but you threw really, really well, we still got it. Or... Mm -hmm. Even so if you're talking about you're talking about one one difficulty level basically, right? So Instead the GM says, okay, combined, yeah. this attack, you know, the the fastball special is a combined sixteen, and right. Kristen rolls for She Hulk and gets uh, you know gets a twelve, and I roll for Wolverine. And I roll poorly, but I get a four. Boom! We hit it. We hit sixteen. The attack is successful. Yeah. Okay. It could be. Yeah. Any number of those things, we probably don't want to let them pick because that's probably getting complicated. Right. 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 Well, from a GM standpoint, but, um, which is easier as a GM, Morgan? Which would be easier as a GM? A great <laughs> I. Uh, 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 give her the my, options again, Doug. Yeah, my brain short circuited when y'all start talking mechanics. So, <laughs> um, uh, one is if both succeed, it does more than the two attacking separately. Oh yeah. Um, one is if you've set one difficulty level, they have to achieve. Right, together. they have to achieve together. Or if they work together, it lowers the difficulty level. I mean, if they work together, I think lowering the difficulty level is actually kind of good. Because they're able to overcome that obstacle and make it a little bit easier for them. I also like it, it being more powerful, but I think if they, you know... It's 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 that meter that we have the not the height bar but the the the, the meter range mm -hmm. that like if they because we lowered the standards of them to meet so if they hit that meter a certain way yeah it'd be really good or if they overshoot by a thousand yeah it's really good however you just destroyed that building because you just you know yeeted Wolverine into him so hard that they both flew into the building and yeah knocked it over <laughs> yeah it took out a center beam yeah yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Or is, okay. or is that a choice on the tech tree? Are we going for like, are we going for, I think the least interesting one is the combined target. I don't think that. I would like, agree with that, yeah. Like that's not especially. But, but, right, but that, uh, the reason I ask is that from a GM standpoint, that seems like the simplest one, but yeah. yeah. Okay, but go ahead. Please don't give me more rules to learn. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're trying to get you to pick one of which of these three choices you okay. would refer right. to use as a GM. Yeah. I, I do <laughs> like lowering the standards just because it makes it e like that's what we usually do in general. Like if they like pre plan something, it makes it easier for them to like do it and therefore the standards lower. Mm -hmm. Like even in brooms, if they've done it multiple times, that lower that makes the standards lower. Um, so I think using the same metrics that we use in the, in the other games well. makes sense. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah. So like if they work together enough that like, yeah, they can do the fastball special, no problem. It's not like them doing the first time where like, Hulk doesn't have the Wolverine's bounce correctly, and like 
tries to throw Wolverine, and Wolverine just puts sort of him. like flops. Right. Puts him into like an airplane somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> or, or, or eats him in the sun, like. You know? <laughs> right. They they fine tuned it. They've got. <laughs> Yeah. Hulk's literally handled <laughs> Wolverine plenty of times at this point now. Wolverine has been chucked into the sun before, and he came out okay. Um, yeah, but you know, what? Right. really, yeah, really, when, when did that happen? Did that seriously happen? Um, huh? Yeah, in in New X Men. Okay, I never, I didn't get to that one yet. Okay, <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. Um, Is that the Morrison run? The Grant Morrison run? Yeah, I, I just, yeah. I literally just bought the entire set. I haven't read it yet. <laughs> A uh, little bit of a spoiler, but yeah. <laughs> okay. No, no, I'm looking forward to it now, actually. <laughs> it's it's bonkers, and it's so good. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> so what else would the team be able to do together? Um, what else would they upgrade as a group? Their outfits, their tech. Um... um yeah, I like the vehicle one. That's really cool because you can like, get the, yeah. the, the black print there for the X-Men. Mm -hmm. um, or the Quinjet for the Avengers. You because know? if they're like if they're the first of their kind, they're just gonna be like in like the party city costumes or like have their mom try to sew them something or them like Yeah. You know. So maybe a team power up move is that like they actually go to a tailor and they're like, "Hey, friend, mm -hmm. can you help me?" <laughs> Yellow spandex. So they're not wearing like you know hoodies and like with like a sharpie drawn on. <laughs> <This is funny. laughs> Yeah, just reminds me of Champions mm -hmm. So, so anyway, they, they literally the the characters literally all had the same costumes. So you could it was you know the the villains wouldn't know who was who until they started using their powers and stuff. It was a pretty that's cool, cool. Concept, pretty cool idea. Yeah. Yeah, that is cool. Um, I know there's more thing for this team tech tree, but I'm just thinking of everything already on the list. Yeah. Uh, do we want to open it up to Twitch? Yeah, I, I've been I've been sort of reading what they have so far. Let's see. What here. are we forgetting? Yeah. Um. Talking about their characters for other like superhero games. Um, I agree. I'm in a PPTP superheroes campaign at the moment, and we all have lists of things we can do with our powers, which we decide with the GM when building with the character. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Um, someone's like, I like to avoid a list of combat moves. It, I've seen that kill gameplay. Yeah. Yeah, we're not doing that. Yeah. Um, you can punch with a D6, but you can kick only with a D6. Let me show you the, two, the ten, like five pages of martial arts rules for champions. It's it's great, but it's really, really not yet. That sounds, <laughs> yeah. that I, I, I played Aberrant. I'm good. Well, That's the white wolf. That sort of thing. Yeah. Well, but it's, it's a, to be honest, Jonathan, it's actually one of the best simulations of martial arts I've ever read. But, you know, the question is, you know, you, know, you, you really got to be into that stuff to play it. Right. Play it. Yeah. 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 But, you know, then again, I like Sir and Sorcery as a game system. So I'm not the best guy to talk to about <laughs> this stuff. So. Uh, someone asked, would you tag uh, to discern one form of energy manipulation to another? Um, that was kind of my assumption is that there'll be some questions in the tech trees that you'll fill out that help you answer those things. Yeah. Right. And, and another person was like, I'd argue um, shape-shifting might not necessarily be member creep per se, which I, I could see that, but also... Sorry, can you repeat that, please? Uh, they don't see shape-shifting as mimicry if we, like, put shape-shifting... But that, that's what I was going to just say. Change the name to shape-shifting. Yeah. That's yeah. What I'm hoping it's up to the GM players if they are the first supers or just new are are just a new generation. That's uh, Kit. That's actually what we're, we're leaving neutralized. Yeah, that's yeah, world. That's world building. world building. That is part of world building. So Kit's. So is, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Is there anything Twitch that we're we're leaving off the team tech tree that you're like, how have they not thought of this yet? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What yeah. are we missing? Um, yeah, it seems like we should be more here. I know, right? It seems like we should just be. I 
rattling things off and I keep looking at this and I'm like, I have nothing past these. <laughs> yeah. Maybe recognition. Like I'm thinking like, you know, Jonathan mentioned uh, like reputation. Lades yeah. earlier, like he reputation. Yeah. Um, Cause you can also gain like acknowledgement from a super villain league or like, even if there's not super villain league yet, maybe like the, the bad guys, like, yeah big pharma and like corporations and stuff like that or oh what about like um like restorative actions like if people have taken strain ways to either yeah. reduce oh recover yeah, oh like, like recover having or aid actions oh yeah so like having a way to like recover their strain that they've taken yeah yeah like maybe like that. like one of the tr the trees is like they Maybe they build like a, like a movie theater and like their hangout and like that's how they, that's how they recover strain faster is because they had movie nights or something or. Mm -hmm. Oh no, I clicked something. Uh oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> okay, Every sorry. Looks, every looks fine, Morgan. No, no you're good. No, <laughs> so apparently there's like a thing on Zoom called Apps Now, and I accidentally clicked that, and I was like, Oh, oh okay. No. <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> It's fine. I pulled up the chat again. I'm fine. This is fine. Um, I'm just going through groups in my head now. I'm trying to remember what they had. Can't. My brain. That's yeah, getting late. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 yeah. Think this? Do you think this is where we call it? Unless Kristen has something else. I mean, I was gonna say training, but I don't even know what that means. <laughs> yeah. I think we just write it down. We can figure out what it means later. Okay. <laughs> or put it, on, it off later. Put okay. it on a sticky note. <laughs> All right. Well, well said, sir. Well said. Yeah. Uh, I'm still upset that there's no purple sticky note, but that's okay. That's for another time. Yeah, they they're very limiting on their colors, and it's disappointing. I'm, <laughs> JB, how do I get a purple sticky note? <laughs> That's not Google. That's not with JB. I don't. I don't. I don't think that's how it works, JB. We can't just try eraser monitors. Uh, okay. Training's on. Okay. Oh, it's on there twice. That's fine. <laughs> yeah, we can take away one of the white ones. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. I mean, we have, again, like combat, we have a good foundation for tech trees. Yeah. Yeah. That's just. All right. So for next time, John, do you want to make a couple of the, uh, the, the power path tech trees for us to look at next time? Mm, sure. At least one. Yeah. Yeah, just an example one. Yeah. Yeah, I can. Yes. Yeah. I'd love to. <laughs> Thank you. Because <laughs> I'm just like, I don't, I don't know. Like, <laughs> it's, it's going to be ugly and bad, but perfect. You know, it's better than nothing. Well, John, if you want some help with that, I'd be one more than willing to give you some help on that. I'd, yeah, I may, I may tap you for that. Ton of experience also if if austin doesn't mind me pushing them out there uh this sounds like crunchy stuff that you also enjoy <laughs> okay. okay yeah um, maybe we'll pick a night and the three of us can yeah. I'll, I'll get the rough version of it drawn up sure it works I'm sorry, I'm still going through the group stuff in my head i'm just ripping through every superhero group i know right yeah <laughs> All right. Uh, well, before we sign off, um... do we have any other other homework other than just tech tree stuff? Like, what are we what are we doing next week? Like, what's our last? What is our last episode going to yep, be about? Last... Yep. Good oh question. god, it's going to be our last one. Game has to be done. So it's got to be done. I mean, we're, we're close. We're close. Um... I, I feel like I'm that SpongeBob meme where he's just like leaning and supposed just like out of breath, like. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I thought the, the next episode is to make up the Kickstarter, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's just stretch goals. We're just going to talk stretch goals. <laughs> talk stretch goals. Yeah. Um, Art and graphic design. Art and graphic yeah, design. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Right. 
Yeah, we we just get to sit here and heckle next time. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm seeing Matthias tomorrow. I'll, I'll let him know then. Um, <laughs> uh, so I think tech trees and other stuff. Well what, said. How, yeah, we'll we'll figure that out off screen. Yeah. Um, yeah. and then come back to it um yeah uh stars and wishes okay yeah <laughs> those are things dog <laughs> yeah, uh i wish i had more energy tonight for thinking yeah. i wish good. austin was here because was they have big life. brain and i like yeah. picking their brain yep yeah Yep. Um. So the stars are you all. Yeah, <laughs> like viewers, like you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if love to say that. <laughs> I know I already said it, but we do have that good foundation of both. I mean, I think we hashed out a lot with individual tech tree. Yeah. Yeah. So I know we're all a little tired and have mush brain, but we accomplished a, a decent amount. Yeah. And oh, my favorite was the relationship questions. I I I love relationship questions so diggly ding much. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I forgot and, we did those. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I was so long ago. <laughs> uh star for me was John was you reminding us to let players do the fun thing. Yay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Nick, what you got for us? Um, no, wishes. I'm just looking forward to working on the, the, the tech trees and stuff. I think that's going to be really fun. Mm -hmm. And stars, like, yeah, again, what Kristen said, we, we just, we, <laughs> just how quickly we got a good foundation together. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Doug, what about you? Uh, well, star was, was Gilmore's thing. And then wish is, uh, I hope that I have more energy next time, but I think it's unlikely because I will be spending a full day with, uh, students on Friday um, oh. for uh, for their their peer group thing. Um, so my wish is that I'm not totally fried by the time I get here. Uh, Do we like need to send you coffee like like an afternoon? Like, I mean, if I caffeinate too much, I don't sleep. And then oh. I have to get up and do it again on Saturday with the kids. So, oh. so. <laughs> it's an all weekend retreat. So oh I, mean, I think it's going to be what it's going to be okay so hopefully my my wish is that my uh tendency towards educational extroversion kicks in and i get in here like, <laughs> um yeah, that's my wish okay all right um homework keep homework tech trees and then we'll tech trees. figure out some stuff tomorrow okay our Facebook chat. Um, okay. And then for viewers, um, one thing to let you all know about is uh, next week we will probably post a link to a survey for anybody who wants to play test this as it gets further along. Um, so keep an eye out for that. Uh, and... Please help us play test. Yeah, please. Yeah, yeah please. can never have too many play testers. Yeah, that's true. That is very true. So, all right. Anything I'm forgetting? I don't other, think so. did, other than that, we did relationship questions like other, other than that. <laughs> Just thank you to our mods again and JB. Yes. Yeah, yes. thank you, mods. Yep. And gosh, thanks, JB. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thanks thank for following you. me back here. <laughs> <laughs> no, we appreciate now, you so much. For doing such a great job last time. So. Yeah, true. All right. Well, 
have a good night, everybody. If you're on the West Coast, enjoy the rest of your evening. If you're on the East Coast, have fun going to sleep. Bye. <laughs> uh.